Maybe you're not a superhero after all. You want to know why I don't have a coterie of supervillains? Why? My coterie of supervillains is six feet under. There you see, Batman doesn't kill people. Because he's a pussy! Yo, what's up YouTube? How y'all doing? Hope you're having a good day. Um, it's your boy Zombat here with another video. Today we're going to be doing another guide. Uh, I haven't done a guide in a while since the Sub-Zero one, I believe, but, you know, I did want to bring y'all this uh, Peacemaker guide because Peacemaker did just release recently. About, uh, what, like five days ago for Early Access. I know he comes out pretty soon for non-early access so you know for anyone who has been playing them or hasn't played them yet kind of want to give you all a guide to show you how to approach a character uh how he's meant to be played and you know just talk about him in general break him down the strings his buttons his combo routes best cameos you know the usual um as always if you guys want to support the video i appreciate you know if you drop a like it's up to the channel it really helps we were trying to grow every day recently reached 13.4k subs so thank you all we're almost close to that 15k um yeah without further ado let's get to the guy so as always you know we start out with the buttons for every character and peacemakers buttons let me just start off this guy by saying <laughs> this character is really good very very good i'm not gonna lie to you all he um omni man and quan chi came out omni man we knew he was good but we didn't know how good he was quan chi we knew he has some struggles um but peacemaker is without a doubt a very strong character like we don't you know <laughs> we don't really have to doubt it uh he's very strong and i'm going to be going over why he's a strong character so right off the bat these are the buttons i'm going to highlight um, so, stand one, this is your, um, let me do it one by one, so I don't, uh, you know, just crowd up the screen for y'all. So, stand one, you know, everyone, every character has stand one, I'm gonna highlight one and two. Stand one is plus three on block, great stagger into grab, or just a stagger to start pressure. Um, so right away, stand one. Great stagger, plus three on block, and it's a good anti -air actually. Uh, when the character is jumping over you like this, it's actually a, a very good anti -air. and can lead to you know a combo anytime you anti with it. Um, stand two, also a decent stagger, not as good as uh, stand one because stand one is plus three, but stand two minus two. So, and the reason stand two is so good is because the string that complements it is very strong. So. Uh, stand 2 is just a strong stagger because the string leading off of it is also very strong. Um, so yeah, those are your standing buttons. Um, or your main standing buttons, stand 1 and stand 2, which are very good. And now we're going to be talking about the advancing buttons, which are his forward 1, his back 2, and his forward 4. Now forward 1, decent high 11 frames, minus 4, you don't really use this too much. Uh, back 2 is actually a good mid, it's 13 frames. This is meant to check people who are mashing close up, and it's fully hit confirmable, which we'll get to the string. But you know, you get a full combo off uh, the mid check, and it's safe. So back two is a really good button too. Now your main mid that you're going to be using with Peacemaker is forward four. Uh, this leads to your main string with Peacemaker. So I'll be you know showcasing that after. But forward four probably your main button that you're going to be throwing out. It's a 19 for your mid, pretty slow, but this goes very far. And it, it's, it also uh, helps with punish, so, you know, if you uh, space someone's button, that's your main whiff punish button. Um, so you back two and forward four, I'd say, are your main go-to advancing buttons. Forward one not used as much, maybe in a combo, but, you know, that's uh, forward one. And those are your advancing buttons. Now, let's get to... I have one more highlight yet. Let's get to his pokes, his down one down three and down four so i'll be honest his down one is very okay-ish it kind of is his down one doesn't really reach far I'd, I'd say his down one is actually not that good of a poke um but you know if you're close up it's seven frames your typical poke is going to be punishable on block just like most pokes are minus eight um now down four also a decent poke minus six but also doesn't go as far as it looks 
but it's still a decent poke. Now down three is probably his best poke. This is a very far reaching poke. Similar to you know, smokes down three or right it, it reminds me of range down three. His range down three is minus twelve. And it's also plus nine on his, so this is exactly like range uh, down three in a sense. So his down three very good. He closes the space, plays neutral, and is plus nine. So anytime you're playing neutral, you can do this and check people walking in the hill. Let's go. So his down three very good. Um, yeah, those are his pokes. I'm trying to see if I'm missing anything else. I think that's it for now. Um, his down two is pretty good too. You know, for anti-airing purposes. Uh, back two is also a decent anti -er. Uh, but yeah, like I said, stand one is probably your best anti -er. But down two and back two are decent anti as well. Um, alright, so, those are the buttons, and now let's get to the strings. Alright, so, the first strings we're gonna be talking about are the extensions off of his stand one. Like I said, the stand one is a great stagger, plus ram block, but he does have, you know, strings off of those, so... Right away, one two is plus three. So not only is the stand one plus three, is one two is plus three. This has no gap, so it's a free plus three, um, which is very strong. Because after this, you can grab them if they're respecting you because you're plus. But then if they poke, you can kind of outrage them. So like if I'm smoke here, and peacemaker does one two, then this and this mind game, you know. Uh, Okay, yeah, then, see, here's the problem. Um, with Peacemaker, like I said, his fastest mid is back two. So, this is plus three, I will say. But, um, his back two is 13 frames, which means you have 10 frames to check someone, which means the other player can match down one, which is seven frames, right? So, you, you can't, you don't really have a bond to jail people with Peacemaker. So, the mind game really is one, two, poke. Or one, two, and grab. Or, you know, if they're respecting you, then you can go for, obviously, <clears throat> other strings if they're respecting the plus strings, right? You guys know that. So, it's, it's, it's you know, it's plus three, but doesn't really have a button to jail you off other than just check you with a poke. Um, a one, two, four is the ender. So, this is also adds to the plus frames. This is plus three. So, if they're mashing after this, after this uh, one, two, four by default will hit them because, you know, they're mashing after one, two, so... 124 is a good um it's a good string to go out throw out there. It's minus two after it as an armor mind game if you would just want to armor. They do end up blocking the whole thing. Oh wow the wind the one like in the armor. In the armor. Hey, you know, that whole mind game. So it was that mind game. Um yeah, one two, one two four. You know, decent strings. One two is really good. Now forward four forward one one. Forward one one four. Like I said, this string I'll be honest, I don't really use this string at all when I'm playing Peacemaker. Because forward one is a decent normal, it's not the best, doesn't have to, it has decent range, but, you know, it's decent. It's a high though, so that's why you don't use it really, use it as much. That's why forward four is your main button, so it's decent. Um, yeah, this string, don't really use, but it's there, you know. It's there. Um... Now this is his main string. He has two main strings, which is his two two string and his four four one string. Now I'm gonna review two two string. Like I said, stand two stagger decent. The reason I said it's decent, the string that comes off of this button is amazing. So <clears throat> two two bots off minus five decent right decent stagger. Now two two grab two two one plus three. You know I I, I press grab. This puts them in a stun state. Now after the stun state. As it shows in the strings, you can cancel into three special moves. You can cancel into EX gunshots, which is his EX combo starter. You can cancel into yeah, so you can cancel into any e EX uh, special move. You can cancel into um, what is this? You can cancel into his uh, mirrorless launcher, and you can cancel. You basically can cancel into fatal ball as well. So this off of this, you can mainly do. Any EX move, Fatal Blow, or certain specials. So you can do this special off of this, right? The reason this is so good, you guys are wondering, okay, why can't he just, they just duck the grab? So, this is 22 frames, as you guys can see, right? Now, he also has an Ender off this, which is 224. 
This is also 22 frames. So this is, I guess, this is you. You know, if you just duck, what happens is you just get hit because it's same frame startup. 22 frames, 22 frames. Now you may say, okay, does he get a combo of 224? Uh, no, he doesn't. <laughs> but this is where the mind game comes in. So this isn't a scary mid-screen, but I will tell you in the corner, this 2-2 two -two string is broken. <laughs> so here's the reason. You can do this. This is 21 frames, and this is 22 frames. This is a one frame fuzzy. And fuzzing, if you guys don't know, fuzzing is a term that refers basically you block two options. So if one option starts up faster, you basically, so let's say something is 20 frames, that's a low, and something is 22 frames, that's a overhead. You basically block low and then quickly change to overhead. You basically fuzzy block. So you go from low to overhead and like the same block stance. Um, so, you know, you can't really fuzzy this. It's a one frame fuzzy. So even if you were to fuzzy, it's pretty much impossible plus it's <laughs> trust me with all, all that's going on you're gonna fuzzy this so he has a guess right here you can do this you can do this now the reason i said this isn't as broken mid screen because he can do that and the max he can get off this so if i do just for example right hold on wait <laughs> This is kind of hard to do. I actually want to go over that as well. So this is the max you get, 23. Now, actually, this is pretty scary. And the reason why this string is his main kind of mixed string, to be honest with you, is because this special, which I'm going to be over in, going over your specials, because they are very good. This is minus 5 on block, which is insane, because it is a mid-projectile. Um, completely safe, which means if he does this... He's safe, completely safe. He can also do this, right? So, now the guess is, what can he do off this? If you guys are wondering, what is really the guess? So he can do this. See, that's a full combo, right? Now, what is, what is if he does this option? Now, it doesn't really, you know, by itself it doesn't launch. He gets, doesn't get the combo. But with cameos... Is this now? Let me talk about the other special. <laughs> this is minus five, right? He has this move down back four. He also has this special, which is minus fifteen. But when covered by a cameo, such as Striker, which is a cameo I picked, which I'll get to cameos later, he can do. You see? Yeah. So that means even even if you block this. You can probably punish him, but most likely Striker is going to keep him safe. So, you know, if a Peacemaker does that, they're willing to take it down too. Now, why was that broken, you ask yourself? This is 23 frames. So, <laughs> like I said, this is 22, this is 21, this is 23. So, both of these special moves are one-frame fuzzies, which basically means they're guesses. Now, as a defender, you're like, oh, what do I do then? I actually got to guess. Well, no, you could armor. You can arm it through this. You know, smoke's armor is pretty bad, but you can arm it through that. You can arm it through this as well. And even the grab option, you can arm it through it. So yes, you could arm it through every single part, but that's where 2-2 comes in. That's minus 5. So if you're coming into armor, it can just block it and punish you. So this string is insane i'm not gonna lie to you guys two 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 grab it's insane because of his specials being literally one frame apart from the actual grab and anytime he does a string you're basically kind of gambling on should i armor out should i duck should i block um and anytime you take the grab you're taking a full combo just keep in mind so it's not like there's a foolproof option take this same thing taking damage you know so and if you take this <laughs> if they want to keep it completely safe they can and that's what they get so yeah um now actually let me cover the i i normally don't cover strings for this long but this is basically how his gameplay revolves around so let me show you what he can get in the corner so 
Um, with this string, I'm going to be covering your specials. I normally do these separately, but I, th I think I'm talking about the string. I might as well talk about the specials. Um, so his main one, of his main projectiles. He has a gunshot, the eagle I showed, and a low eagle. Now the low launches. It is punishable though, so this is minus 10 from here. But it's a low launcher. They get clipped. Low combo and a 2 2 grab. And then a full combo. So he has a mid projectile, a high projectile, and a low projectile. Uh, the mid projectile doesn't really launch, but you know, it's it's a mid projectile, <laughs> so you can just zone. Now, gunshot is really good too, but EX gunshots will shoot three in a row. And they will always leave the opponent in a crumple state, which means no matter how the how the EX gunshot hits, you will get a combo. So that means somebody gets anti-ired with it. Like this you still will get a follow-up because it'll always crumple them. Um so yeah, EX gunshot is really good. And now his force field or not force field, sonic boom. This is a mutilus combo uh, launcher, which means you know you don't you don't have to spend bar to do it. Which is, you can do stuff like this. Okay, we'll get to the combos later. But let me just point out, this character's damage is insane. So, this character's damage is insanity, which I will show you. Um, so yeah, Meteor's Combo Launcher. EX lets you, you know, just extend it. So, it's like a normal combo launcher. And then, probably one of his, probably his most broken special, to be honest, Force Field. This is a free special move to activate, basically Sub-Zero cameo, uh, Frost Shield, literally no projectiles will ever hit you. This counters Striker Grenades, Kung Lao Hat, uh, you know, Low Hat, counters every fireball in the game, Ryko Stars, literally anything. So this <laughs> Peacemaker is like a, a mix of everything. He's an anti-zoner, he's a zoner himself, he's a brawler, he mixes you, he literally just... He's kind of everything in one package, which um, I kind of like because that's how I want him to play. So, yeah, his specials are insane. So, um, like I said, and he also has a blow dart, which I forgot to mention. This special is an anti it recovers very fast, but it, you know, at least it combos in the corner. This is this. Yeah, that's like an example. Um, like I said, I'll get to the combo section later, but. For example, that that is like combo starter slash anti-ire. Um, and he also has this move, but I don't use this as much. It's decent when paired with a cameo. Kind of just make yourself. You can people can up block this, so you know, I'm um, smoke, and he does this. I can up block, but obviously when paired with a cameo, you know, it's, it's a bit different, right? So. Those are specials, and if you're wondering why I'm showing you this, because remember the mix-up I talked about mid-screen? Remember, completely safe. If this hits in a corner... Just a little example of what this mix is. That's 47%, by the way. And off a safe mix, so... Remember how I told you, in mid-screen it might not be as scary, but when you get to this corner, you're guessing, which means... If I'm smoke, and he does this, and I think the grab is coming, and I try to duck, full combo. And then if I respect the eagle, you know, if I respect him doing the eagle move, and I don't duck, full combo. But let's just say this character, in, this character in the corner, is a bit broken. <laughs> he's he just 50 50s you. Um, so yeah. I kind of did not want to segue in, into all that, but his 2-2 string is his most broken string by far. So I kind of felt like I should talk about that extensively. Um, um, okay, so <laughs> let's move on to the other string. So back to, back to 4, decent mid check, like I said. Back to 4 is a safe uh, combo, and it's a safe string on block. These two a launcher, for example. So safe starter, you know, just your typical mid check. And decent strength for sure. In the corner, you also get like similar combo routes. You can do this. No. And when I said he hits hard, I wasn't kidding. <laughs> Any touch, you're doing 40 plus with this character. Um, and with cameos, it gets even crazier. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's back to 
And his final string, which I did mention is very important, forward for one, forward for one, two. This is your main mid. It's minus five on block, so fully hit confirmable as well. Fully safe. And the reason this is so good is because if you see them blocked, you could just do forward for one, two, the full string, and end it with this. So you have a string with, uh, that's fully confirmable, hit, fully hit confirmable, and if they block it, you know, you just reset neutral with this special right here. So, you know, very good special, very good string, and it goes very far. <laughs> like, the range on this does like, it doesn't look that far here, but you know, when you're moving, which is movement is pretty good too, when you're moving like this, if somebody just throws this out, it goes very far. Um, and like I said, it's fully hit confirmable, so you can do this. And get a full combo. And yeah, basically, those are all his strings. His strings are very good. Specials are very good. Damage is very good. And this is what I mean. He's a very good character. We can kind of just tell right off the bat, you know. I, especially this special. I want to reiterate it one time. Force field. You're gonna be playing against Peacemaker players. What they're gonna do if 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 you're zoning them, all they're gonna do, turn this on, start zoning you themselves. <laughs> If you watch my set with Sonic, or if you watch me play Peacemaker on stream, if you watch, which I'm gonna promote my stream, you know, go check out the Twitch, it's on screen right now. Um, if you watch my Peacemaker, or Sonics, or Ninjas, you'll see this, <laughs> and then a bunch of this. Because not only can he counter zone you and go through your projectiles, he also has a great zone to give himself, so. Yeah, he's, <laughs> this character is very strong. Um, so yeah, those are his strings, those are his buttons, those are his specials. Hope I was able to cover them. I know it, maybe the section took a t bit long, but I really did want to uh, show you all why the 2-2 string is as strong as it is. Um, so yeah, I hope I was able to explain that thoroughly. And since the strings are over, let's get to his cameos and why I think Striker is probably his best one. Alright, so <clears throat> now we're going to be talking about the cameo section. Um, the first cameo I will be talking about is Striker. And then, yeah, we'll move on from there. Now, the two best cameos I think really belong with him, based on you know what I've played and what I've seen, are Striker and definitely Striker and Kano. Now, Chameleon is also a third one, so I'd say his top three cameos are Striker, Kano, Chameleon. Um, I definitely think Striker is the best one. Now, the reason is because I showed you guys this special right here, gunshot. And you guys said, you know, uh, it doesn't combo by itself, EX combos, but with the help of Striker and Kano, he does this too, you get combo loops, which means you can loop this into each other, because when you do this and grenades hit, you can actually extend the combo. So if I do mm, mm, into Striker, you know, if I time it correctly, I get a full combo. And that's just, you, you see what the damage is looking like. And this can go off of any starter, so I can do... And, 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 and then that works off that too. You know. Same thing. It works off as 1-2, it works off as 2-2. Two, two. Oh, wait. Mm. Uh, and then, so yeah, 2-2, two, 1-2, two, two, forward 4-1, four, any of these strings, it works. I'm pretty sure it works off this too. Actually, no, it doesn't work because it's launches. This, you just go to this, but yeah, so he can instantly go into gunshot. And when you have two strikers, the damage gets pretty crazy. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, let's just say the damage is insane. Now, with Striker, what else does Striker give you? The ability to be safe. Now, I just realized I did not talk about one special move that I totally forgot about. Torpedo. This move is insane. This is basically, uh, you know, a Shadow Kick type move, like Johnny Shadow Kick. Any fast reversal. It is 12 frames. It's minus. It is very punishable, but it's a mid. And it's armored, which means anything... You can just react with this, and it does a decent chunk of damage. It's 14%, which is insane. So, 14% mid, that's armored, that's 12 frames, so it's very fast, it goes pretty much full screen. And obviously, you guys know, as how Striker works, 
I hate Shrekker as a cameo. I think he really promotes kind of gameplay. He, he does promote very ugly gameplay in my opinion. But with Peacemaker, he just compliments him so well. Especially with the gunshot loops. And not only that, <laughs> the Torpedo and the Shrekker is a game plan that, you know, that people do. So you try to punish Torpedo, for example. And they call Striker. No, that's your typical Striker combo. And with Striker, you can also do this. Like I showed, you can do. You can also do stuff like this. Keep yourself plus. You do stuff like this. <laughs> no, it's it's Striker in general. And uh, also helps you in zoning. The occasional 50 50 you can add into your strings. So yeah, Striker is very, very good for Peacemaker. Very good. I'd say it's definitely his best by far. Now, Kano, um, you know, also in Striker, you can use him for block pressure, you know, for example, but Kano will give you, basically what he, Kano and Striker kind of give you similar things, but Kano gives you more versatility with this move, he also gives you, like, block pressure, like that, with Kano Bowl, but, and he also gives you the combo loops. So... It's actually, you know, similar. So it's really dependent on which cameo do you enjoy more. But the reason I say Striker is better is because the ability to make, you know, grenades are just very broken. So if somebody messes up a punish, you get a full combo. Knives could do that, but they're not as good because they're highs. Um, now Chameleon is the last cameo I'm going to be showing you. Um, this, cam this cameo, <laughs> just like, you know... With Katana, you can do this and make it safe. As you guys know how uh, how uh, Katana's lift works. Um, he also gets... Doesn't really get 50-50s, but what he does get is more combo loops with this. So he can do like... Eh, eh, you know, for example. And Jade Glaive is very good too. You can also do this. So, typical Serena route people go for and you can also do uh the gunshot loops with chameleon as well with katana so you can do eh, eh, you know mm, mm. so you can do that as well I'm not sure how to do it i don't really play this cameo but pretty sure you can uh pretty sure actually no oh wait on no, you you get the combo off this i like that so yeah those are chameleon is also really good if you're looking for something that's more fun, also doesn't take away health from you, and it's versatile. So this is also very good, and it's in, uh, it's in, in its own sense. Um, but those are his main cameos. Like I said, I think Striker is the best. Kano is like an alternative for Striker, and Chameleon is a bit different if you just want um, utility. And also, some cool routes with him, pretty much. But um, yeah, those are his strings, his buttons, his specials, cameos. <laughs> And um, now let's get to his combos. Go! <laughs> 
ugly buckling. <laughs> Alright everyone, that is the Peacemaker Guide. I hope I was able to kind of explain this character to y'all and show you kind of how to approach him and what cameos to use with him. Um, like I said, this character is very strong. He's a hybrid of literally any place you want. You can zone with him, you can rush down with him, you can mix with him, you can space control with him. He's he's pretty much a bit of everything. Uh, early impressions are he's very good. I'd say he's probably top 10 with the amount of tools he has. Not sure where, obviously, you know, I probably will do an updated tier list in the future, but he's a very good character, um, and it is Peacemaker. I definitely recommend y'all to watch the show, the show is amazing, and that's why I was so excited to play this character, so, yeah, I think they did him right, he's pretty fun, so definitely check him out if y'all are, I hope I, once again, explain the character well to y'all, and, um, as always, drop a like. Uh, if you would like to sub, it does help the channel a lot. I appreciate y'all. And, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this helps you out. And, obviously, for more videos, just uh, drop that sub button, y'all. But, um, y'all have a great day. This is always, and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace out, y'all.